another video brought to you by TurboCamaro.ca. Today I want to do a big catch up video. I've got a lot of new subscribers over the last uh, couple months. I want to make sure everybody's all caught up on where we're at and where we're going. Uh, for those guys that are looking for a performance video that shows some kind of a part swap, I'm definitely uh, interested in entertaining you with that, but it's not going to be today. I will be showing off the engine quite a bit and some of the other parts of the car, so feel free to stick around for that. Maybe I'll give you a little heads up on what we're going to do as far as uh, future projects. Right now, of course, uh, 67 Camaro was originally marina blue, painted it black with a roller a few years ago. Uh, still looks pretty damn good. Obviously some more work to be done, they potentially paint the car again uh, in, the, in the future. Uh, that, those are not holes or paint damage, that's actually just my tent. The winter season this year has uh, caused some major problems with the property. As you can see, my boat tent got destroyed and uh, the rest of the property got hit pretty hard. It's pretty good right now, it's been melting over the last couple of days, but that being said, uh, we're at the car here and it survived the, the winter season. Uh, right now, 67 Camaro, like I said, Chevy 250 straight six engine. It is not the original engine, but it is the original engine that type that would have been in this car. It would have been a 250, but just not this 250. Uh, that being said, it's turbocharged, alcohol injected, intercooled, and carbureted, uh, supported by mostly forged internals. Uh, a lot of good forged parts in there. That's mostly black, mostly silver and gray. Kept it fairly clean for the most part. It's um, all done by pretty much me. Obviously the machine shop had some involvement, but for the most part, I did uh, pretty much everything. Uh, a few of the custom jobbies that my uh, father-in-law helped me with, which is great. I don't have some of the uh, main mechanics tools to do these things, so uh, there's been some help along the way, which has been great. Uh, beyond that, uh, there are some future projects planned. Uh, this engine runs great right now. Uh, great daily driver, no real issues. I want to turn the boost up. We're at about 5 PSI now, which isn't much. However, it moves pretty good, and I'm talking to the point where I don't really need to turn it up, but I want to mostly because I can. Um, it drives so well the way it is, and I don't want to go and bring it to a uh, dyno until I got it to where I know it could go and be stable. And right now it would be just a waste of my money to go and get it dynoed uh, for the sake of finding out that I'm just gonna turn it up. That being said, there's some things I do want to do to this car uh, that will make a big difference overall. One, I want to uh, work a little bit on the electrical system. Uh, could potentially go for a new harness. I, I really don't like not knowing what was previously done to the engine. Um, I don't really have major problems, but I know I'm, I've lost a body ground somewhere. Uh, it's probably one from the battery to the body. I haven't actually ever had one, but until the painting and stuff happened, I never really had any troubles. Painted the engine bay and then look out, now I've got a body ground issue. So I suspect that I'll be able to get around that uh, with just uh, a strap to the battery, but we'll see. Uh, beyond that, I want to do new valve seals. The O-rings I've got in there, if you can look at previous videos, I've been becoming quite frustrated with them. I'm leak getting oil leaks from them. Uh, the ones on cylinders four and five seem to break constantly. I don't know why that is exactly. I think maybe there's a burr on the valve or I, I know I've got some mixed match valves in there, so it's possible that maybe there's a an alignment issue i really don't know at this point i don't care i want to get them swapped i'm going to go to positive valve seals and i'm going to go to larger uh, small block chevy valves uh, that will should increase performance slightly and uh, also give me the reassurance that i'm not going to have any leaky valves which would be great because right now i do get a small amount of oil burn on heavy acceleration i do get uh, a little bit of a um, well, not even heavy acceleration, but even just starting the car, I get a little bit of a, a black smoke kind of issue. So I uh, want to deal with that. Uh, otherwise, uh, there's some other big projects coming in the future here. Uh, the black car may not stay black forever. Uh, right now it's black. It looks nice. The paint is very pretty. I did a great job with a roller a number of years ago, but unfortunately, uh, I just want to see some more color. Uh, this car is unique in a lot of ways. I think it'd be nice if it had a fairly unique paint job or at least one that stands out a bit more than this. Um, the stripe on the front is nice. I may keep that idea, but uh, black is just a little bit too uh, 
I don't know, colorless for me, I suppose, in the long run. Uh, other than that, I like to do something with the wheels. I would like to uh, go to front disc brakes at least. I may not go power front disc brakes. I don't mind a little extra effort in the press. I also don't mind having any vacuum complications with a booster. With that being said, the technology has come a long way now and there's lots of kits out there, so we'll have to see. Uh, beyond that, the carburetor. I don't care to tune it as often as I do and I don't care to tune it any time every time I think about wanting to play with the boost uh, I think it was a reality I was warned and cautioned by many before I did it and now we're here and I find myself thinking it would be nice to get an electronic system of some kind so it's very likely at some point in the future I'll be switching to some sort of an electronic fuel injection system um, the carburetor is wonderful I love it I think it's great I like everything about it on paper and I even like the looks of it in the car as you can see it looks pretty cool looks old school Holly 600 double pumper Beautiful carburetor. Looks great on there. Works really well when it's adjusted, but I just, for this weather conditions that I have, the altitude adjustments that I've got, the constant playing around with it, it's just not for me. If I was a major, you know, carb head, I'd probably be totally great with just doing quick adjustments, but I just find myself basically frustrated how often it has to be done. I just want to drive the car, right? I don't want to dick around with it that much. So I'm considering perhaps a Phytech unit, a Holly unit, something like that, anywhere between one and $2,000, even Canadian. You can get yourself into one of those units and they provide you with a pretty good start and cruise uh, efficiency. And that's pretty much what I'm after. Not to mention, I think that would really allow me to get the boost where it needs to be and uh, and get everything tuned up pr perfectly. So that's where we're at. Uh, lots of other projects on the go. I want to do some interior videos as well. I've got a uh, sound deadening kit as well as a headliner and trim kit that needs to be installed. I got lots of paint, uh, cans and plasti dip that I want to get into a little bit. So lots of things on the go. Uh, plus, I really like to start hearing some ideas on what other people think. I do a lot of research and a lot of Googling for uh, projects and things I can do to make it stand out or be unique but still keep it kind of classic muscle car uh, but I'd love to know what other people have done as well as what other people are thinking about and perhaps I can steal some of your ideas or even uh, just uh, develop them into my own thing so again uh, feel free to comment in YouTube here or you can go on turbocamaro.ca check out the info there and email me at turbochargecamaro at gmail.com and uh, also catch me on Twitter and Facebook as Turbo Camaro 67. So any questions, comments, leave them below. Uh, anything at all, you guys. I'm interested in suggestions, comments, flaming, just about anything that will get a conversation going and uh, we can go from there. So check me out on those uh, avenues I mentioned before and thanks for watching.